So what I see a lot of students do is they realize, okay, determine the maximum height of the tree. So they know that that's probably a sum to infinity question. But then what they do is they look at these numbers. Now guys, these numbers represent the height of the tree each year. So after year one, it's one meters tall. After year two, it's 1.8 meters tall. And then after year three, it's 2.44 meters tall. No matter what you do, you will not be able to form a ratio or a difference with those numbers. It just won't work. So then Kevin, what is happening? Guys, the trick is don't look at the height of the tree, rather look at how much the tree grows each year. That is where the ratio is. So in year one, tree grows one meter. In year two, the tree grows 0 0.8 meters. So that after two years, it'll be 1.8 meters tall. In year three, it grows 0 0.64 meters. Because if you add these three together now, you would get 2.44. Now, these are the numbers. These ones that we've just found over here. They form a nice ratio. Let's see, what is T2 over T1? Well, that's 0 0.8 over 1, which is 0 0.8. T3 over T2 is 0 0.64 over 0 0.8, which is 0 0.8. So there is a constant ratio. So to work out the total height that the tree reaches, you would have to add these numbers together. You wouldn't add these numbers together. That would make no sense. So we use the sum to infinity formula, which is a over one minus r, where a is your first term, which is one, and our common ratio we found was 0 0.8. And that will give us five. This means the tree will only reach a maximum height of five meters, because these numbers, as we keep going, they become smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually they will reach zero. What that means is that the tree will stop growing.